Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some MTG Arena. We're back to playing Arena. We haven't in a while, but I finally have a deck that I want to fool around with on here. It's actually what I'm going to be playing with in paper. Uh, so let me pull it up for you. It is Mono Blue Mill. I know it's one of the most cheapest decks out there right now in standard you can put together, but man, this deck is fun to play. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, I've only tried it once on here so far, but I've playtested it in other uh, fashions before. Uh, it's just taken me so long to get the deck together because all my wild cards are just trash right now. So this isn't the end-all be-all for the deck list at all. I actually will want to do a lot of a few revisions to this, um, which I'll go over. One of which being uh, putting in Witching Well would be the main one. Let me pull it up here. Where is it? I click it. Yeah. There it is. Witching Well is probably going to be an addition that I want to put into the deck, uh, but I just don't have any common wild cards to put it in yet. It took me forever just to get enough wild cards uh, for what I needed here. So I'll go over it really quick and I'll tell you what, you know, I'll uh, be correcting in it later. But this is the Mono U Mill version of the deck. We got our powerhouses that are already in the deck here I i'm not missing any of the play sets of these these are the ones that are going to want to be in any of the mill decks right now in standard seeker keeper huge player overwhelmed apprentice uh lets us put two cards into their library and scry to send up our library for more milling um i've got on summons and run away together right now uh, i've got four on summons i may reduce that by one but I'll tell you what, it actually works pretty well in this matchup. I'll go over how. Uh, Drown Secrets is our main enchantment to really start cranking the millage. Whenever we cast a blue spell, it puts top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Uh, another unsummon, but it's run away together. So we unsummon ours, they unsummon our, uh, one of theirs. This goes into kind of the game plan for the mill. Uh, we're unsummoning their creatures if we need to because we're heavy defense until we can mill them out. We're just going to have walls, heavy defense, blocking big creatures, stalling them out as much as possible until we can mill them. So Runaway Together is a another way for us to get some extra milling out of the creatures that we've already played. So we'll unsummon one of theirs, we'll unsummon our Secret Keeper. Then we can replay the sorcery and replay the, the creature itself on our next turn very excellent it's worked out pretty well so far so i'll probably keep these runaway togethers in there i don't know if i need all these on summons but it has been working well end of turn i mill them a couple for doing it on summon on my merfolk secret keeper replay the secret creeper next turn and uh we mill them for like eight you know um all right so the unsummons that's kind of the game plan there our big backup plan is of course the vantress gargoyle it's the two drop for a five four flying and you can only attack with him if the player has seven or more cards in their graveyard and you can't block with them unless you have four cards in your hand so it's kind of interesting in that way but we can easily dump seven cards into our creature's graveyard by the time we get him out or if not the turn after we'll be able to attack in and you can mill one off the top of their library with him as well with his tap ability uh probably won't be doing that as much since he'll be our backup plan for swinging in and uh, just killing them, basically. Uh, wall of Lost Slots, another wall uh, that also puts top four of cards of the library into their graveyard. We got two Brazen Borrowers, again, another bounce spell, but this one is bouncing non-land permanents as well. Uh, so if there's a um, Planeswalker out there or something that we need to get rid of, we can return it to their hand with this. Um, this may switch out for Callus Dismissal, which I don't have any right now either, but this will let us amass one and return an on-land permanent. Uh, I just don't know how useful Brazen, I mean, Brazen Borrower is very useful, and you, you get a creature attached to it, so it may stay in the deck, and I wouldn't mind. Callus Dismissal is its own benefit, too, because it automatically creates that creature for us, uh, that we want, so it's a toss-up. I'm playtesting it still. Uh, on to counter spells. Didn't say please. I've only got three in the deck. I definitely want four. And we've got Thought Collapse. I've only got two in the deck. I, I kind of want four. So I should be playing with like a full play set of both of these. Uh, these are milling counter spells. So counter target spell, and they put the top three cards of their library into their graveyard. Um, yeah, I want full play sets of both of these. Again, th this is like <laughs> as much as I could complete with the deck to make it run properly as I could. So I'll be adding in more of these to get these up. 
Assault Dream Render, great milling potential. Unfortunately, it counteracts our Vantress Gargoyle plan. So spells and abilities your opponent controls can't cause or control or search a library. Well enough as it is, kind of circumstantial, but it's negative one. Put top four cards of the library into the graveyard, then exile each opponent's graveyard. So it's great for if we're going up against the Golgari deck, anything with graveyard, it's going to be good graveyard hate against that. Uh, but unfortunately, since it exiles a graveyard, it turns off her Vantress Gargoyle. So I'll probably sideboard him and pull him out when I need to. Um... Although I do like playing with him, he's fun to play with for sure. Uh, but he'll probably get sideboarded and then I'll put in more of the thought collapses than say please. But for now he can stay in, it just, you have to know that it could counteract your gargoyle plan. Alright, so Jace is our other planeswalker in the deck. We're not trying to do anything with his other abilities other than milling with the plus one ability. Target player puts top two cards of the library into their graveyard. We draw a card. So it's our draw card. It's one of our ways to draw cards uh, and just mill them out a little bit. We're not going to be going for his special and, you know, if we would draw a card when your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. Doesn't matter. Um... We're just basically doing it for the card advantage. Another card advantage card we have is Into the Story. This is a seven mana instant, uh, and it draws us four cards, but it costs three less if the opponent has seven more cards of the graveyard, which again, very easy for us to do. So we've basically got a, uh, a really nice four drop instant to draw four cards to refill our hand. Um, Castle Vantress, we've got a one of, might put it to a two of, but it lets us scry and in the late game if we need to start looking for certain cards we can scry to by tapping the four mana and tapping this card and really try to fix our our library uh 19 islands and we've got two mystic sanctuaries uh mystic sanctuary is pretty excellent uh it's come in handy a couple times so i kind of prefer this over the castle vantress which is why i've got two and only one of the castle vantress uh but when it comes in uh it enters tapped unless you control three or more islands Again, we're playing Mono Blue, so not a big deal. Uh, when it enters untapped, you may put a target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard on top of your library. So we can pull back our Thought Collapse, our Didn't Say Please, our Unsummons, things like that. Whenever this comes in untapped, we can pull it back into our hand and be able to replay it again. So very, very good card. Uh, so yeah, that's the deck. The sideboard's pretty empty right now. It's just got Dovin in it, and I don't even know if that's really relevant, but... <laughs> Uh, we're just gonna be playing best of ones today, so so yeah, let's get uh, let's get into it. All right, let's hop into some standard ranked. See how this goes. I did play uh, one match last night with this, tested it out uh, against a Galgari food creating deck. Uh, pretty insane game. He had a lot of stuff coming at my face, but uh, unfortunately, we were. Well, fortunately for us, we were able to mill him out. It was a lot of fun. All right, so no Gargoyle in hand here, and we've got the Ashok, so I'm okay with keeping this because if we had a Gargoyle and an Ashok, we would probably mill uh, Mulligan it. It just wouldn't make sense. Uh, Drown Secret Secrets is one of our main things, so we're going to keep it. And we got Wall of Lost Slots and two Unsummon abilities, but we'll be able to hopefully draw into some more stuff we need here. So this is a decent hand. It'd be nice to have a turn one play with uh, Secret Keeper but it is what it is. All right. So we could just start on summoning the creatures and really slowing them down, but I don't want to do that until I can actually get some potential. Oh, and there's our gargoyle, so that's not good. Let's put down Wall of Lost Slots. Oh. I actually meant to put down Drowned Secrets there. My bad. Yeah, we should put down Drowned Secrets. That cost us two milling. So they got a cry in here. Let's see what we're going up against. They got a soak. Okay. Interesting. So our hand could be taken advantage of if they're playing with hand removal stuff, which they might be. All right. So the silencer's in the deck. Okay. All right, so let's do Drown Secrets. And now we can like unsummon the Guild Mage and really throw him off, which I think I'll do right now 
because that means they'll just have to replay it on their turn. And I don't want them to counter it or anything, so we'll just do that. Maybe I could have waited, but... I want to slow him down a little bit here. Alright, 8 cards in, 45 to go, disinformation campaign. And that's going to be pretty nasty. Uh, we are going to drop... I think we're going to drop the Dream Render here and just go for the Vantress Gargoyle plan. Yeah, so let's let's do that. Uh, yep, mill them. And then we've got two of our unsummons. So if they put anything down that we need to unsummon, either a fly or something like that, we can easily um, just put it back to their hand. So if they tap out here for a big creature, something that's flying, then uh, we'll probably run away together take it back to their hand, take our wall of lost slots back, replay it. Look at that. That's good. So, I, you know, they get to surveil with this, which I'm not super happy about. There's a thought erasure. Um, mm -mm. We'll get rid of the unsummon. Oh, we didn't have to. Oh, it went back to their hand. Okay, my bad. Alright, so pass to end of combat, and we'll do this. Pump it back here, mill them out. Okay. What are you, you. Can you do anything? I don't think you can do anything. Oh, oh, he had to discard. Ooh, another Drown Secrets. All right, this is when we can really start cranking now. Like, really start cranking. This is excellent. Okay, Wall of Lost Thoughts. And Mill, Mill, Mill. Mill, Mill, Mill. And Mill, Mill, Mill. Bam, look at that, holy cow. Cool, and now we can just uh, start swinging in with Vantress. Alright, we got nothing to do. Uh, we're tapped out. The unsummon probably will get discarded with the disinformation campaign. Uh, we need to start being able to draw into some more cards. Ah, and we do. A very nice card. So look at this, man. Look at how many cards we're going to be able to mill with just the Secret Keeper. It's insane. We're going to get eight cards just from the sorcery, and then we're going to get four more just from playing the Secret Keeper itself. Mm -mm -mm. That's yummy. Uh, we are looking good, guys. Holy crap, 16 cards left into the library. I'm liking it. Uh, if they play Disinformation Campaign, we'll definitely just unsummon something. And really put a hard clock on them. I mean, we have a two-turn clock just with the Vantress Gargoyle. I'm assuming they have a way to take out the Vantress Gargoyle. Ooh, see, that's not good, but uh, that's going to be an easy thing to unsummon. And they are not going to be happy about it. <laughs> they are not going to be happy at all. Boom. Sorry. <laughs> that sucks. They mad. They mad. Oh no. Oh no. It's it's just over. It really is. Sorry guys. They've got 11 cards. We're milling them down four. All right. They have seven cards left in the library and they got to deal with two Vantresses. I don't know if we're going to mill them out or just kill them out, but either way, I'll take this as a really good first game here Let's see what they do they got they got to deal with a lot here all right sure they're not even playing my fast flash speed because they're so desperate for that surveil night veil all right yep yeah, okay and another drown secrets <laughs> 
So it's over. They know it. We'll give them the GG. They've got how many cards? We we milled them to two. Oh, we can actually just mill them out right now. <laughs> there, we, we milled them out with the gargoyle. There we go. Pass to them. It's game over. All right. I want to I want to do the mill plan. We could have killed them with the Vantress, but I mean, in a sense, we still did anyway. So there you go. There's a uh, first game of mono. You mill. All right. Going into another game here against Battlewise. So you can see the deck isn't even perfect and we're already doing a lot of damage. Now imagine that with all the other counter spells we've got going and it can get pretty insane. I would like to see a Drown Secrets here with an Overwhelmed Apprentice, but we've got a counter spell. We've got into the story that we can start working our way into. It's not the best hand. We'll keep it. We'll see what happens. I'm still getting used to what you should keep, what you shouldn't. See, I, I'm getting flooded out with like the unsummon sometimes. Uh, so I feel like I definitely should be cutting them a little bit. At least two. I think I can cut two. Alright, so scrying. Do we want to pull out a Vantress? Uh, actually, I'm going to just leave both. I would like to get into being able to play our Thought Collapse. So I'm just going to leave this. So we can start holding up unsummons to just uh, really wait them out. We're playing against a stupid Cauldron's Familiar deck. Oh, it looks like it's a mix. Okay, so it's Cauldron's Familiar, which Witches Oven, I think anybody who's turned on Arena in the last few weeks has seen this deck because it's everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Super annoying. But not as effective as you would think. Like, it's just an annoying deck, but... Alright, I don't want that. Do I want to keep Ventress on top? I think I can. I'll continue to keep him on top. So... I'll attack in here. Get this thing off the board if he wants. Because they're probably playing with that Calamity card, which... Uh, deals one damage to me when attacking with a creature with power one or less, I believe. So, I don't care about blocking this. It's him blocking this. It's fine. They'll make a food token, but I'm not worried about them making food tokens to a degree. Because we don't really care about their life. So. Pass the turn with an unsummon in hand. They're going to be just playing with a lot of dinky stuff for the most part. They may put down some kind of good bomb. We'll see. Alright, do we save our creature? Nah, we won't save it. Uh, I'll keep the unsummons for maybe even protecting our Vantress Gargoyle. Okay, that's something that'll be just a good quick unsummon. We're not getting millage off of this, which again, which is why you want that Drown Secrets. Because you want to be able to mill when you play those on summons. Which is why this is, wasn't the most powerful hand out there. But now I think... Swing in for one. Why not, you know? Oh, they're just going to do that. Sure. Well, we're not going to attack into that then. I know what that can do. Uh, so let's go ahead and use up our Thought Collapse. Uh, probably hit this Dread Horde. Seems like a decent thing to hit. We're not making much progress on this graveyard, unfortunately. So, that's why I want to make sure we can, like, Thought Collapse something good here, play our Vantress Gargoyle. If we need to protect it, we can always unsummon it back to hand. They're tapping out for him. I'll, I'll just counter it. I don't want that guy growing and getting bigger. 
And we don't have any decent walls right now, so Overwhelm Apprentice is only going to be good for like one block, essentially. Another Witch's Oven. That's not pretty either. Now they can really start cranking this thing. So the race is on. Drown Secrets, finally, but unfortunately... Hmm. Hmm. I wish we had one more land. Uh, I think we're going to have to play out the Drown Secrets. Uh, we really need to start getting our backup plan going here. Alright, we'll wait one more turn for the Vantress. Time for Cauldron to come out. This is one of those decks where they don't really care about what's on the battlefield to a degree anyways, because they got this stupid cat just pinging us and healing them. They can do this a couple times. Sure, I don't care. Crank it that way, crank it this way. Alright, yep, yep, yep. Yep. So our clock is pretty, pretty bad right now with that thing. Oh, sacrifice two. Okay, well, we can just maybe unsummon that. Is this important to unsummon? You add sacrifice two creatures. Mm, yeah, we'll just... Mystic Sanctuary. We can bring back the Thought Collapse. See, that's nice. I will put it on top of my library. And let's start getting this guy going. Finally getting a little bit of mill. all these uh, cancel attack I don't want to attack and the turn but of course they are gonna do all their little triggers here what are we gonna go to 12 14 I don't know gone against this deck so much more than any other deck it's ridiculous i like play a match with this thing i play a match with a normal deck and then i play a match with this thing oh man um it'd be nice to counter that it's a bummer okay let's see how this goes Thought Collapse. We're going to start racing this thing. It's going to be a close game. Definitely. this was like any other deck, I would just conceded by now for how ridiculous it is. We got into the story set up too, so we can draw some more cards next turn, which will be nice. Mm-hmm. 
Just a swamp, that's good. Out of a bust hit. Uh, no. Say no to that guy. Don't like that. Mill, mill, mill. Okay. So a soak here would be nice to try to get rid of these cauldron familiars. Now, now they got two of them. We're going to be getting hit for a lot more, which is unfortunate. Let's into the story. Mill them a little bit more. Still got a long way to go here on the library, unfortunately. Okay. We're out of Castle Vantress. We still got Unsummon. We're just fighting this thing. It's crazy. We're slowly getting them down, but like, basically only like hitting them for one each turn, pretty much. <laughs> but it's about to be over. Hmm. <laughs> we can start. If we can get out these Fantress Gargoyles, though. Both of them. That, that'll be a huge benefit. Start hitting him for 10 each turn. Another cauldron. Alright, that's not good. They're, they're going to have us dead really soon here. Like, what do they got us on? A two-turn clock? Something crazy like that? Probably. Mm, let's... Into the story first? Keep refilling our hand, maybe? Yeah. We'll play Vantress still. Lots of land. Secret Keeper's not bad, but not ideal. So let's go Vantress again. Start getting some really good beat down here. I don't think it's going to be super effective, though. Unfortunately. If we had gotten him, like, a turn earlier, we might have been alright, but we're, like, dead really soon here. And here they go. Let's see, can they just kill me next turn? They might be able to just kill me next turn. Oh, and they have a shock to just finish us off now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're dead here. We'll let them have their fun. We'll give them a good game. I know it's over. I don't think there's any other way we can win this, so. I said good game. I said good game. Give me that. Stop doing your triggers. <laughs> Go on. Witch's Oven, Midnight Reaper, one damage to you, draw a card, keep refilling your hand. Uh, 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 you need to get me for four. Ooh, that's nice right there. Replay. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. 
boom. All you gotta do is get me down two more, and then uh, kill me off here. Mm -hmm. Bam, 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 shock, and we're dead. Very good, very good. Alright, into our next game here. Let's see. Oh, man. Well, this is a little rough because we got the Mystic Sanctuary. I think I'll keep it, though. We've got two Vantress Gargoyles. Um, we can start attacking in with him. So, let's start milling. Boom, boom. Hopefully draw into a land next turn so we can play these Vantress Gargoyles right away. If not, uh, we'll just play the Mystic Sanctuary, play out our Merf Merfolk Secret Keeper, and go from there. Oh, alright. Well, we got that. That's good. So, let's start putting these guys down. And we'll start milling slowly. Looks like we're up against that same deck as before. Ooh. Ooh, they mill planning too? We might be seeing the Demir version of the mill, which... Pretty strong as well. They'll probably be playing with uh, Drown in the Lock, which we gotta watch out for. Uh, something I've considered, but I just wanted to go simple with the mono blue. Give him a nice. Alright, so... Vantress. Secrets. And can't attack in yet, but we can start milling one. Hopefully be able to swing in with both these next turn, though. See what they play here. Drown Secrets. Two Drown Secrets. Nice. They're going to mill us before we mill them. But we might be able to kill them before they kill us, so... This is interesting. Passing to my turn. Let's tap. We'll, uh... Put the top card of the library into the graveyard. Another Secret Keeper would have been excellent there, honestly. Got an opt. Okay. Wish we could have attacked in this turn. Alright, come on. Oh man, they almost made it so we could attack this turn. Almost. That's crazy. Uh, actually, we can uh, at least get in for five. So let's do that. Let's start killing them. Body racer, sure. Take whatever you want there, buddy. Mill me, mill me. Well, it's nice that we got these Vantresses out right now. It's going to be pretty hard for them to deal with this. Because now they're just milling away all our good cards. We already lost a Drowned Secret in here, I believe. Lost another Secret Keeper. Opt, sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I considered playing with Opt, but I think I'd rather play with the Witching Well. Uh, opt is another fine choice, though, honestly. Um, we can do this, though. Get something back here. Hmm. I guess we'll take a didn't say please. And we'll go to combat. We'll swing in. They got one more turn. Well, we didn't mill them, but our Vantress Gargoyle coming in clutch. That's for sure. They can't uh, kill us right now. Oh yeah, I forgot that's just going to mill away my... <laughs> my didn't say please. I put it at the top of the library, it's just going to go away. Uh, that's funny. That's what you get up. That's what uh, happens when you go against this little mirror match. Yep. 
Unfortunately, that doesn't have reach. That's the only bummer about Wall of Lost Thoughts. Uh, it doesn't have reach. If it had reach, it would be so much better. So much better. We'll pass. We'll go like this. Boom, boom. Mill them a little bit just to finish it off. You know, we already won the game, but, you know. We're going we're gonna to just play it out to show them that we're, we can mill too, all right? We're not savages. We're not just going to kill you for 10 damage right now. We'll mill you first. We're a mill deck, all right? Let's just mill. Come on. Maybe this is taking it too far, and I'm surprised he hasn't conceded yet. All right. Good game. <laughs> well, we outkilled the mill deck. That's funny. All right, on to our next game here against Jason with the Garrick Planeswalker avatar. Okay, I like this. I like this hand. I can dig it. Let's set ourselves up here. Probably try to scry into another land. You want to be at the sweet number of three for this deck. Uh, well, I don't know if I want all of that, but we will definitely put one to the top. Once upon a time, uh-oh. Is this the Oko deck? What'd they already do? Oh no, this is Simic Flash. Okay, Simic Flash. Cool. I like the Simic Flash. Let's go Drown Secrets. Tack in for one, why not? Ideally, I want to see a... Secret Keeper. Oh, well, another Drown Secrets is fine by me too, actually. So they got this Brineboard Cutthroat. Obviously, they're going to try to play him at end of turn. Uh, I will more than happily attack into it and kill it, though, right now. So if they want to flash it in and trade with my Overwhelmed Apprentice, feel free. It would not be smart, though. Alright, Brineborn. Which means we're probably going to be using these slot collapses on our turn. And we got to watch out for Frilled Mystic, but they're not at 4 yet, because that can counter a spell. Mm-hmm. Always going to be keeping this up all right let's go ahead and let me think what else are they running i don't think they're running anything else super crazy they're gonna have uh, spectral sailor which will be kind of annoying for our gargoyle are they playing with this counter spells if they are good for them Mmm. It's fine, I'll just replay it. You're helping me mill. You missed the triggers, so. Forgot about Brazen Borrower. Duh. You have something else you can do? You got an opt or something? They're playing with quenches. Alright, they're playing with quenches. That's good to know. You're helping me. Spectral Sailor, yep. Told you those guys were going to be annoying. Um, well, we can uh, cancel attack, actually. I need that block up now. <laughs> uh, good news is, Brazen Borrower can't even kill our Vantress Gargoyle. Um, and I can't block with the Vantress. We're going to take this hit and start blocking next turn. Brineborn's gonna get pretty dang big. Ooh. Ooh. That's nice. That's nice. But I think... We're gonna go ahead and probably counter this Brazen Borrower. Hmm. Hmm. 
If we had one more mana, I'd be happy with playing out this Vantress, but I kind of want to hold up this Thought Collapse. That's actually a great thing to Thought Collapse. The guy's pretty gnarly. Oh, here we go. Thought I was figuring out the counter situation. Where are we at with this? We're getting there. Slowly but surely. We hit a Brazen Borrower, that's good. Well, we'll, uh, mm, yeah, we'll take a block here. Be nice to get some more walls out, that's for sure. Oh, I think we need to into the story at this point. Oh, man. I could easily just... Hmm. We're in a rough spot. I don't want them to quench this into the story. That would not be good. Let's see how many of these we hit. Hit two quenches, three quenches. But they could have a frilled... One... Too frilled. We hit a lot of their counter spells. Do I take the chance? I guess we'll go like this. We'll pass the turn. We'll try to play it when they're tapped out here. Another Brineborn. Alright. Resolve that. Alright, we'll try it. Hope for the best. Fortunately, uh, we're getting hit for a lot next turn, so we are almost dead. Ooh, unsummon was clutch. All right, goodbye, Brineborn. Cutthroat. We'll resolve all this. Resolve. See if they want to do anything else. And then we'll unsummon this thing. Uh, hmm. I'm worried about counter spells, so I wanna I almost wanna just do it now. Let's do it now. I don't wanna let them untap and then have a counter spell ready. Because then we would be dead. Good value here out of the Drown Secrets. There goes their last quench. Another Brazen Borrower. We're hitting good stuff here. And we'll pass. We got two Vantress Gargoyles. Uh, we can block with this one this turn. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. Give me the nice there. Oh, that's funny. Getting hit for five. Could be worse. We can play out a bunch of Vantress Gargoyles, though. Oh my gosh, so many Vantress Gargoyles. Really can only, like, play out one, though, if we want to block. Or we just play out all of them and threaten to kill them. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Sure. Sinister Sabotage. Alright. Where are you guys at? 15 cards left in the library. Let's just try to mellow them out. It's gonna be tight. Can't block with the Vantress now, so we just gotta pray that we won't die. <laughs> They're really close to killing us. And we're really close to killing them. Yep. We need to be able to mill them for six in one turn. Oh my gosh, that will do it. Let's go. That's game over. Mill Mill. Soak is going to finish them off. GG. Clutch. Oh man. It's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. You have to counter this Soak.
For sure. Can you counter it? We got rid of your quenches. Yep, there we go. <laughs> good game, good game. Good matchup. All right, we'll do our last game here against Time Debt. Uh, we're currently three and one right now. Let's see if we can go for the four and one. I can dig this. A little bit slow to turn on Vantress Gargoyle, but we can get there. We've got two into the story. We definitely need to get some more mana curve going for that. It'll be good to refill, though. We're playing with somebody who likes to spend money in the game. All right, that's getting us closer to into the story. We'll do Drown Secrets. See what happens. Sure, scry away. Didn't say please. That's pretty nice. I think we're just gonna pass with didn't say please. Mm-hmm. They took two for that. Snar set's not bad. Not a bad target. Ooh, two of those. Okay. Wow. Ooh, they've got the John Avon lands. How do you guys get those? I don't even know. Uh, we'll play another Drown Secrets. Hell yeah. It'd be nice to have a one drop here. Fire's Invention. Oh, that's the thing we needed to counter. That's what we needed to counter. That is ugly. Play two things a turn and you get to play them for free as long as they're under this amount, I believe, right? Uh, it would have been nice to... Uh, Hmm. Have another land. I think we go Vantress here. We might be able to kill him. Ooh, yeah, the Chandras. This is a gnarly deck, too, but um, good for us. I mean, I've been able to beat it a number of times. It's a cool deck, but I've been able to beat it. Uh, okay, sure. And there goes that guy. Alright, fair enough. We'll just go for the mill plan here. 36 cards left. We're going to be able to mill them pretty hard. This is Sanctuary. Let's get back our Thought. Uh, not Thought Collapse. Didn't say please. There we go. Put that on top. Uh, wall of Lost Thoughts. Into Wall of Lost Thoughts. Mill them pretty deep here. We got rid of a... Bolos. Bolioso. Wall Blast Lots again. We got rid of the Liliana. Very good. Another Thought Erasure. Another Bolos. Look at all the stuff. Look at all this massive stuff they play with. Liliana. Nicol Bolas. Sarkin. Oh, and they still got a Bolas. That's unfortunate. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I actually could have exiled one of these guys. I should have. Oh no. That's not good. Hmm. We'll pass the turn. We'll try to counter something. Ugh, ooh, ooh, this is gnarly. Ah. Uh, they've already got an R set out. Sure, you can have your Nar set. I'm more worried about what you're gonna play next. What are you gonna play next? Nothing? Okay. Maybe I should have just countered it then. Getting hit for a lot. Alright, whatever it is, we're countering it. We've got them really close to dead here. So. We got a times three on that. Ugh, times two on that. That is insane. Can you do anything? What do you got in your hand? 
nothing? Alright, then we're gonna do into the story. Uh, we're, we're not gonna get any card draw, but I just need to mill. I need to mill before they kill us, because they're hitting us for quite a bit. Overwhelmed. Alright, cool. We got them to 10. They're hitting us for like 5 every turn. Alright, I think we can do this. I think this will finish him off. Let's see. Let me make sure. Keep that on top. Uh, yep, that'll do it. We'll give him the GG. Put down Overwhelmed. Ooh, boy. <laughs> That's sketchy. That's a sketchy deck. I haven't lost to it yet, but it is it is frightening to go up against. We just went 4-1 and one with Mono U Mill. That is pretty insane. This deck is a lot of fun, and it's not even to its fullest potential. You could throw a place out of Opt. You could throw a place out of the Witching Well. Ah, oh, so much you can do in this thing. So this is the deck again. Uh, did really well. We went 4-1. and one. Pretty awesome. Uh, wow. This, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I think I, I like where it's at, but obviously I think I, I want at least a place out of one of these counter spells. Probably a place that didn't say please. I don't know if you need a full place of the Thought Collapse. Some people like running a full play set. I've seen it without. Uh, but you just gotta stay cheap and efficient and really crank out these Drowned Seekers. If you can get two of those or three of those out, you're just cooking. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll be playing with this on paper with my friends as well. Pretty sick deck. I'm liking it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, so leave a like on the video. If you want to see more Mono Mill, uh, leave a like. Yeah, leave a comment. Let me know if you want to see more Mono Mill. Uh, I'll definitely want to play it some more, but if you want to see more videos on it, uh, leave, just let me know in the comments below. And uh, subscribe. Don't miss out on any more Slivers coming up. Call of Duty. We've got some more surprises coming next week as well. Some new games we'll be playing. Uh, so don't miss a beat, and we will see you guys in the next video.